Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is the 19th episode of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Guide. This time, we're covering the Vector K10. A modern SMG design, first seen in Modern Warfare 2, and unlocked at level 16 in Black Ops 2 multiplayer. The Vector K10 is an American weapon, manufactured by Chris USA. The original Vector was introduced in 2006, and the K10 variant in 2011, although the in-game model does seem to reflect the earlier design. The Vector SMG is based around a unique recoil-reducing action, the Chris Super V system. Despite being chambered for the powerful 45 ACP cartridge, muzzle climb is kept to a minimum as the force of the recoil is diverted to counteract any alteration in aim. The net result is a powerful weapon that despite having a high cyclic rate, can remain stable under automatic fire. In-game, however, damage is low. You'll need four shots to kill up close, or three where one shot is a headshot. The Vector's paltry range means your damage quickly evaporates at a middle distance, where you'll need six shots to kill. Damage is not this weapon's strongest suit. Penetration is also low, as with most of the SMGs. The Vector's rate of fire is an asset, however, with the weapon spewing up to 940 rounds per minute towards your target. Rapid Fire takes this to 1250 rounds per minute, although this comes at the cost of increased recoil, decreased range, and worse hipfire spread. Unusually, the Select Fire mode on the Vector will fire two rounds per burst instead of three, and will do so with a favourable fire rate and surprising accuracy. Of course, the low damage means you'll need at least two bursts to kill, so automatic fire might be better suited for most. Hipfire performance is on par with the other SMGs, proving particularly formidable even without the laser sight. Few weapons can compete with the Vector's output at a close range. Recoil is moderate but manageable. Despite its recoil mitigating technology, you may have some issues tackling targets at a long range, although it is the lack of damage that generally proves more bothersome than any handling trait. Aim time is quick, at just 200 milliseconds, and movement speeds are top tier, at 100%. Magazine capacity is good, although 4 rounds shy of the MP7 at 36 rounds. This is more than enough for most engagements, and will even prove sufficient when tackling 2 or more enemies in most cases. Extended Clip takes this to 48 rounds total, and will extend your supply accordingly. And reloads are sufficiently quick, at just 2 seconds for a tactical reload. Our class with the Vector K10 is a pure stealth one, designed to get close and destroy the opposition without them ever knowing you were there. Avoiding detection is our build intent, and a near essential point spend for any such class is the Suppressor. This will prevent you from showing on radar when you fire, essential in cases where you don't want to reveal your position through aggressive acts. It will decrease your effective range and slightly increase recoil, but the Vector's damage differential is relatively slight, and so your performance won't be harmed too greatly. Staying off radar is a huge advantage by comparison, and will allow you to eliminate enemies quietly without attracting any undue attention from their nearby friends. This radar advantage goes out the window should your opponent attain a UAV, however, so, our second point spend is on another stealth stalwart that should help in such cases. Ghost will make you largely invisible to enemy UAVs, with the proviso that you must remain on the move. With a mobile SMG, this is seldom an issue, and so Ghost will help baffle your opponent by concealing your position. Cold-Blooded as your second tier choice will also afford you some protection against detection, a better ability to lurk in dark corners your reward for equipping this perk. Of course, your opponent will still be able to see you, but the removal of your red name and your enemy's electronic targeting assistance might buy you time sufficient to swing more gunfights in your favour. Next up, we'll be taking two Tier 3 perks, courtesy of the Perk 3 Greed wildcard. Dead Silence is the first of our two choices, and although regarded as less than useful, it will nonetheless increase your stealth potential. Silence in your footsteps and preventing your character from calling out your reloads will prevent enemies with a keen ear from isolating your position. For a pure stealth class, this can be a very useful trait. Next up in the third tier is Engineer. Traipsing through enemy territory on scene is not without peril, as entrenched enemies will use their equipment to guard their backs. Engineer will highlight such defenses, allowing you to safely avoid or eliminate the enemy lurking behind. It's worth noting that this perk will also delay the detonation of Bouncing Bettys and Claymores, allowing you to run straight past without injury in most cases. Shock charges are another matter, however, 
and at times where you might need to clear a path through such threats, a single EMP grenade comes in useful. When you spy tight constellations of red glowing objects, toss your EMP ahead for a cavalcade of free points. And to add insult to injury, eliminate the disorientated defender to further add to your streak. Our final two points are spent on a secondary and attachment. Fast switching weapons such as the pistols are a worthy backup for any aggressive class, and applying the suppressor to it will help ensure that you won't break stealth should you need to employ your backup. The suppressed Cap 40 was my choice, a good weapon in its own right, with similar traits to the Vector itself. It serves as both fast reacting insurance against unexpected attacks when your Vector is unready, and also as a fallback weapon for when your primary is left dry. The Cap 40 will let you carry on while you search for a suitable replacement to continue your streak. That's our build, one that embraces a total stealth mentality designed to operate unseen behind enemy lines and devastate unready foes. Such a style of play requires a certain degree of caution. You might be off radar, but tackling the enemy head on will erode any advantage. Instead, taking the less obvious routes and proceeding with care will yield the best results. Tease out single opponents rather than tackling multiple foes, and change up your location often. With careful positioning and crafty anticipation of your enemy's movements, you can silently harvest your score streaks and leave your opponent wondering where you'll strike from next. The Vector K10 is a weapon with balanced traits that performs very well in close quarter gunfights. It combines a rapid rate of fire with consistent handling for more reliable performance than most other weapons within its effective range. While some weapons might have the edge in damage up close, few will perform as reliably from the hip as a fast firing weapon such as the Vector. Outside of a close range however, the Vector starts to lose its charm. Its meager range and moderate recoil will conspire to severely hamper your performance from a middle range out. You might find tackling groups of enemies challenging too. With a large number of shots required to kill, it can be difficult to direct your fire in time to repel three determined attackers. Still, within a stealth roll you should be seeking single, unprepared foes only, and it is rarer that you'll run into larger clusters of enemies if you maintain a degree of caution. With a suppressor, the Vector is an ideal stealth SMG. With consistent damage and reliable close quarter performance, it is not a weapon that will fail you unexpectedly. Get your bearings with this weapon, plot a Vector through uncharted domain, and navigate your way to success. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next week when I'll be covering the B23R. Until then, farewell.